Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. My name is Vijayan. And in our last video, we made a connection between the Firebase and the front-end part of our application. So in this video, we will try to add data uh, from our application into the Firebase data store. So first of all, open your browser. And search for Firebase. Go to console. And this is our project that we have created. And we also created the Firestore database. So this is the place where we can see our data. So you can click on go to docs. Here click on fundamentals. Click on build and click on Firestore. Get started. Here you will find the code snippets for doing all the CRUD operation, create, read, update and delete. So in our case, we need to first of all install the Firebase that we have already done. Now we need to import this Firestore. Copy this. Go to the index.js file. Paste it over here. Now this is the initialization part of the Firestore. So we can initialize it using this copy this paste it over here and now how to add the data for adding data we need collection and add the from firebase firestore so we can copy this paste it over here now we need all these functions and variables in our app.js file so we need to export it from here first we need to export app db and these three functions let me just save this close this one now come back to our app.js file here first of all we have created this text input so we need to create a state that we can store the title from so create count let's say title set title use state by default it will be an empty string and you need to import the use state from the app okay so in our text input let's provide the value value will be title now whenever user change the text so we need to set that text into this title state so on change text we use this event we use an error function that whatever text user inputs we need to set this on title let me just save this okay so now let's create a function which we will invoke when a user submit on the keyboard const add shopping item okay now come back to this and copy this much here since we are using a wheat we need to make this asynchronous now as see we are first awaiting this function and we using add doc 
and we create a collection using a database that we have created in index.js and here we name our collection let's say shopping here we can pass the data that we want to input but first of all let's go back to our index.js file copy this much because we need to import this import from firebase index let me just save this here we do not need this first of all we need a title title will be the title that we have created over here then we need its checked property whether it is checked or not so by default whenever we create a new item it would be false it will be unchecked by default let me just save this and now we can call this function on the submit here yeah, let's say on submit add something now let me just save this here now let's try to add something here let's say milk and let's press the enter button now go back to your browser and refresh the page as you can see we are seeing the document and shopping collection is created and we have our first item milk and this check property is false now let's make some changes over here so after uh, successfully inserting the document we can set the title back to the empty string let me just save this and let's add bread this time press enter as you can see uh, it is also get emptied we can come back and here we have our second item bread so if you are wondering that we are not including the id that i have told you about uh, in our components shopping item shopping item we have three properties id title and is check we do not need to create id explicitly because every document here have its unique id as you can see over here it's a uniquely generated id so whenever we retrieve the data in the state in our next video then we can use that docref id we do not need to create an id separately so this is how you can add the data from your front end uh, react native app into the firestore let's try to add drinks and press enter you can come back and here drinks will be added so that's it for this video in our next video we will retrieve all the data from the firestore and we will use a component called flat list to display all the elements over here so thanks for watching it